Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. So I have this lovely scarf on that was given to me. Look at how cute this is. And here's the bee. See the bee? Oh, how sweet. How sweet. Oh, I'm just loving the bees right now because, you know, pretty soon they're going, I don't know where they go for the winter, but they don't come to my flowers. <laughs> so I'm enjoying them while they're out there. We have some really big fat bumblebees just like this that hang out. So we've promised me Secret Lives of Color. Uh, what do we got? Oh, it's Angel Food Cake Day. Let's just stop there right now. Angel Food Cake. Okay, who's a fan? <clears throat> it's one of Greg's, my husband's favorites. <clears throat> I like it if you put strawberries and sauce on it and all that good stuff, but it's actually kind of nice by itself, angel food cake. Uh, if you do something special with it, share it over at my uh, food uh, group, um, uh, Kitchen Adventures with Pat Sloan. Just go over there to Facebook and uh, hang out with us in that group and share any angel food cake stories that you have. All right, also today, uh, towards the end here, I was watching the, or the Organized Soprano. Do you watch her? She is a um, home organizer and she does a lot of the video stuff. She's also a singer. Uh, uh, I don't know that she does it professionally, but she, I was watching her the other day and she mentioned that for October on YouTube, a lot of people do a post a day and they do a vlog. They call it a vlog so that it's not like a tutorial or something. It's just um, everyday things or conversations or whatever, which is pretty much what I do six days a week anyways. But I thought I would just add in between now and Friday, these, these five days, because remember, I won't be here on Saturday because I'm taking a day off. Uh, and uh, these five days, I will do a little segment um, of just uh, things that I am doing in the studio or somewhere else. And um, just to show you some other aspects of my life. So, and they might, they're not going to be on this, you know, chronological or something. They're just going to, well, they probably will be, but they will be just things that I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> That'll be towards the end. So first let's do the secret lives of color. We are on, um, the next, I, I had to go look up how to spell this. Obasan. Obasan, uh, which is a word I didn't know. And even on the, like when you're doing searching and it starts to fill in the name, I had to get about five letters in before it filled in for me. So not, not too many people search this word. <laughs> and it is um, volcanic glass. I guess uh, the volcanic ash eventually turns to a glass. And there's a lot of history about it. And it is perfect for October because it's a little bit of witches and witchcraft. Uh, and there was a man named Dr. John D, and he was Elizabethan, England's foremost mathematician, astrologer, and natural philosopher. And he was the Queen's philosopher and advisor. And he also spent many years talking to the angels. Well, apparently that was going to get him in trouble, that talking to the angel stuff, because he started, he had a lot of notes, and then the angels told him to re, you know, destroy them because he was going to be um, sort of persecuted for witchcraft, you know, that's the, which a lot of people were at, at certain points in of time. So anyways, this is a kind of a cool um, section. This is the what I picked. So it's probably a little dark because like I said, I don't have that range of black fabrics, but I'm happy with it. It's a little tiny little bit dark. So here I put, I made it in the smallest block because uh, of the scale of the print. So that way um, it is uh, in balance because I have a couple other prints that are a little bit bigger. So I want to put them in the bigger blocks. So oh, we're getting so close, so close with the Secret Lives of Color. A few of you have moved on and finished them and have been sharing them. And I've collected a few photos. And at one point I'll do a, a call out for more so that I can do a, a parade of Secret Lives of Color quilts, you know, the tops that are done. Now on Promise Me, we are on which block? We are on the fifth block, which is Harvest. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm reading the color. It's the Honeymoon Star. I like that name, the Honeymoon Star. And I, this is a really cool block. It has really no new techniques because all of these blocks, I think they look pretty impressive, but they're all almost all squares and triangles um, and nothing particularly difficult. So here is, remember they come, I'm taking 
just following the book's um, formula that it's the same fabrics but different placements. So the pink and the black have different placements. One has the pink primary and one and the other is the pink that is the cornerstones like here, see? So these two now go up, go up, up, up. And I, the other night, and this took about an hour. So in an hour, I was able to, I had all the, the sashes are all pre-cut. So what I did is I sewed up the top row because that one could be all sewn. I sewed this fourth row, which could all be sewn across. And then I went into my diagram and did a little maneuvering of a couple of blocks because that happens. Even though they're colored in advance um, and placed in advance for that diagram, I'm, oops, goes, I changed it up here. So this, so sometimes I feel like the balance needs to move a little bit. So first let me, here, I'll stand on this side. First let me put the picture up of what I changed because on the bottom there I switched the two stars because I wanted the pink on the other side to balance a little bit more pink. And then you can see I sort of rotated around three blocks. I just shifted them around. And mostly because the one had the same actual block top and bottom. I didn't catch that. Um, and so that's no big deal because I'm just now ready to set everything, you know, as, as we get the last blocks done. So we have one block next week and then we next week we'll also start looking at the border because it's going to take you a little bit of while to do the border. So at, at this point you should be getting trying to get caught up to this if you bought the kit and then you and you didn't start it yet um, I would recommend just getting it out and doing today's block so if you really want to work on it right now maybe you decided you're gonna you got the kit but you'll do it a little bit later which is totally fine um, but if that's the case and that you really wanted to or maybe you made the first one or two and then you you're a little bit behind <clears throat> start with today's do the honeymoon star don't you love that name? The Honeymoon Star. <gasps> yes, this is all in my Promise Me fabric. And then our borders will be there. Um, they'll, they'll take you maybe, you know, if you decide to work on it well. It's probably like a two weeks we'll talk about the border to be working on those. Now, Climbing Roses, I didn't get the whole one out today, uh, but I did two more of the blocks. So... I did these actually while I was doing the sashing. I had the blocks cut, and so as I had to take, as I had to stop with those to press something, I would put a unit of these two in, so that by the time I was finished doing that border, I had these two blocks made. Now I need to cut a few more out because I'm doing all pink and green for the climbing roses for a little, a smaller version of it with less blocks. Smaller meaning less blocks, uh, same size, just less of them. Okay, now <laughs> let's take a look at some of the things that I've been doing uh, and I'll meet you back here. Well, I thought maybe you'd like to see what I do in the morning or I just tell you a little bit. I do my uh, stretches and exercises. I do my wrists every day and I do other exercises and then I go for a walk. But before I go for a walk, I've been adding in doing a little bit of cross stitch just because it just is a wonderful and relaxing thing to do. Let me see if I turn the light off. There we go. So I have the Christmas one in progress here. So I have the Christmas one in progress. And what I have is the, uh, I've got my tablet up and I'm watching Garden Answer with Laura. So I usually watch an episode and while I do my stretches and then I just am working on this cross stitch. So here you can see, uh, there we go. This is where I'm at. I'm doing the holly uh, and then we still have one more week which is down here and you can see I'm incredibly low on this. I'm, but I, I, I've seen the next thing and so I think I'm going to be okay but it's going to be really squishy down to the bottom here. <laughs> Well, maybe not as bad as, as I think it is, but I've been um, trying to be a little bit quicker with my cross stitch. Oops, and I don't use a hoop, and I just like to um, I just like to needle it, just sort of like when I did applique a lot. And I haven't done app hand applique for a while, but I think I'm loving the cross stitch. I'm loving other people's designs. 
I just adore the folk art things. Those are my favorite. And I have on order a Halloween sampler coming that is way above my skill set. Oh, see, I went further than I should have. Way above my skill set, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's going to be so cute. Okay, so I have to unpick that one. Unso, unso. I'm getting fast at that too. All right. So that's just a little bit. Wait a second. I've got to get where I can stop. And I've got my needle minder on there. So I can just put that. So that's uh, <laughs> just a little bit of what I do in the morning. Um, and once I finish this, then I'm going to go and take a walk. I usually walk for 30 minutes through the neighborhood. So I'm heading out. See ya. Well, I forgot I need to mail a card to my mom. So I have the card here. I put some cute washi tape over it. And then now I'm going to find a sticker. Some sort of pretty sticker. Not those. Those aren't pretty mushrooms. I need flowers. Mom likes flowers. Well, she, likes, she likes kitties too. But not the animals. I need the flowers. Let's see. I don't know the book real well yet. Oh, here's some flowers. I need smaller. That one's pretty. Where, oh, here's some flowers. Here's one. Okay. I'll put this one on there. Roses are her favorite, but this is what we'll do today. Alright, so this is going to go out in the mail with me. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, Mom. Off, to, off we go for a walk now. Before I head off to walk, I put the coffee in the cute thermos so that it's not just sort of cooking on the burner for when I come back. So I have that in here, got the coffee cup. Here was some jam that my dad and his wife brought us from, what's this one, from Vermont, yeah. So that sounds really good. So I'm, oh, I gotta try this too. I have yet to make it yet. And this is a bowl my mom had, a crystal bowl that I keep out with just things in it on the counter that I use a lot. Okay, now I'm ready for the walk. Well, my sound wasn't so good, so I'm just going to talk over this. <laughs> so here's my neighborhood. I walk a couple of different streets. Uh, I talk to people that I know now from all these years of walking here. It's a lot of fun, uh, and it's really pretty. The neighborhood is really nice. Uh, nobody's got much going on right now because it's getting to be, you know, fall. But here at this neighbor, they always put out this bucket on the mailbox filled with dog cookies. So all the neighborhood dogs get a little cookie when they're walked past this particular house which is just so darn sweet well look at this this is quite rude isn't it I <laughs> oh my god oh, I do set the uh, iron here a lot you can see it has kind of discolored well there's other parts of this that are in pretty darn good shape so I will just cut it up it's a little bit thicker you know this is um, a little bit more like a canvas that was used but I have a spare can't get this anymore it was from ages ago but I have this one right now, and it's actually still in stock if you want one like mine. I'll link it down below, but I will change out the ironing board cover. Ah, bummer. I really like this one. I should have bought like 18 of them so I could just have them forever and ever and ever, but I didn't. This one has really nice, um, you know, straps that would went across here, but look at this. Oh my goodness the all the dust on the leg legs of my ironing board ah my ironing board is actually quite uh i don't know maybe 10 years old now and i got it at ikea and i love it it's so sturdy um so anyway let's change the top so these are done by moda and they're actually um like quilted so and that's so much quilted there aren't any quilting on them because you don't want that on your ironing board cover but there's a fiber between this, and so you know it's more cushioning. Then I also added a, um, pel a fleece. This is a piece of fleece because it's thick and flat, not fluffy like a batting. I don't want a fluffy ironing board cover. I mean, or ironing board. I need the ironing board to be really firm. And so this is the pad that came with the ironing board, but it was just not quite enough because you could see the ridges, you know. I felt like when I ironed, so this is just a fusible fleece that I had, or you don't have to have fusible because I didn't use a fusible part, but that gave it a nice firm, 
and then the cover itself. So the next one I think also has some sort of covering. I'm looking to see if Hope Moda comes out with some other really cute ones. There's there's a scissor one that was kind of nice. It, it was very mostly this color with just some scissors on it. Little tiny ones. Um, there was a fabric like that too. But I haven't I haven't seen another one I like yet to buy. So I'm working on this one. It is uh, where you have to pull and gather. You know, just pull, 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 gather, gather, gather. And um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to pull those straps off the other one. I'm just going to cut them off and then just sew them on here so that I can wrap at this end and then up here and get it pulled under tighter. So I think I'm going to do that. So there it is. I did sew the straps. Let me show you that. I did both sets. This one worked out better, but you know, it's shorter than it had been because it was in the seam. And so I just did three times, can you see it? Yeah, three times across here, just on the outside for each. But the other one is struggling a bit. It popped a couple threads already. So I'm thinking it may not make it or what I have to do is loosen it up there and um, there, just loosen it and then do a safety pin or something. So, but it's on and it feels great. It feels really good. It's nice and firm. I left both of those layers, the original pad and then the um, fleece I left under there. Plus this is padded again, just like the other one was. And I cleaned the dust off the legs. Woohoo, okay. That task is done. I wasn't on my list. So I have the, the ironing board cover off. Here's that really bad rip. So there's this, this part's just, you know, not usable. But because I've got, you know, this is thick, it's got that internal stuff in it. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just take the, so take some good scissors. So these are my Kai scissors. They're like a shear. And then I will just cut into this here to where the, the um, binding is. It's got like a binding on it. And then I'm just going to cut the binding off. And so after I do that, I'll decide how much of the fabric is not too stained. Maybe because our army boys get stained. And I know some of yours you leave on there a super long time and they look really gross. So if you need a new ironing board cover, today is the day to do that <laughs> along with me. So let me know if you enjoyed um, seeing that little segment. I'm going to do a little bit, depends, it'll vary in length and what it shows over the next a uh, few days through Friday. I thought that would just be a lot of fun to have something a little bit different. And you will make your honeymoon, your honeymoon star. So cute, so cute. And here's the book again. Whoops, here we go. Amongst the stars. Oh, so I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.